In this video we'll learn how to create this great looking music visualization. To make this effect we'll use a free online tool to generate a spectrogram image from a music file. We'll use the image as a texture in Blender's geometry nodes to make this rolling grid extrusion setup. We'll use Blender's Bake Sound to F-Curves feature to add a bass thumping effect. And finally we'll make a simple material shader setup to create this colorful neon stripe look. Let's get started. So the first thing we need is a music file. I'm gonna use my own track I made recently, and you can use it too if you want, it's a 100% free to use song. The download link is in the description. The second thing we need is the spectrogram image, and we can get that in many ways, but we're gonna use this simple online tool called Audio Alter. Just go to this address, select the music file, choose this last color scheme because it's the most monochromatic one, set the custom size to its maximum which is 4000 by 4000, and hit generate. We get this nice looking spectrogram image that we can download. Then we can open up Blender 3.2. First, we'll change the FPS to 60 from the output properties to make the final result look more smooth. Then we'll create a video editing workspace and add the music file as a strip. Make sure to have the music start exactly at frame 1 to have it synchronized with the visuals. We'll also set the end frame of the animation to match the length of the music strip, which can be seen here. So we can just type 8171 as the end frame, and now it matches perfectly. Okay, then we'll create a Geometry Nodes workspace. Add a new geometry node tree to the default cube, delete this group input node since we are going to do this completely procedurally, and add a grid node. Make the resolution 300 by 300 and add an extrude mesh node. So this node now extrudes all the faces of this grid uniformly, so it just looks like a cube. But we can add an image texture node. Load up our spectrogram. Take the color and feed it into the offset scale of the extrude node. And that will scale the extrusion of every little face here based on the image that we provided. Black being the least extrusion and white being the most. Let's change the extrapolation mode to clip so that we don't get any repetition. But it now looks like the image only covers this top right quadrant of our plane. And that's because in Blender image texture coordinate spaces go from 0 to 1 by default. And this plane is positioned so that it goes from minus 0.5 to plus 0.5. So that's an easy fix, we can just take the position attribute, make a vector addition operation, add 0.5 to the y-axis, and feed this into the vector input of the texture node. Now it's perfectly aligned on the y-axis, and we actually want to leave it so that the left side is empty for now, because later when we add the right to left movement, it'll make more sense to have the present moment of the music be in the middle of the grid, instead of on the left side. Okay, let's add a transform node after the extrusion, to stretch this plane a little bit. And we can also control the height of the extrusion with this Z input now, and we'll reduce it to 0.5 for now. So right now half of the song is displayed at once here, and we could just make the animation be like this. But what we want is for the image to be stretched horizontally, and then driven from right to left to have this more animated and dynamic slice of the spectrogram that we can see more details of. And we'd also like to stretch the image vertically, because in this linear spectrogram the most interesting stuff happens here towards the bottom. Luckily that's easy to do with just one operation. We'll add a vector division operation after the addition, and increasing the x division will stretch the image horizontally, and increasing the y division will stretch it vertically. 11 and 8 seem to be good values for me to start with, but this depends on the music, especially on the length of the music file, so just find something that works for you. Okay, so now we need to get the image moving, and an easy and precise way of doing that is to add yet another vector addition after our division here. We'll add a timeline here, add a single X keyframe on the first frame, make X1 on the last frame, and add another keyframe. Select both of the keyframes, press T to set the interpolation to linear to make the speed constant, and that's it. If we change the playback sync option to sync to audio and press play, we can see that our spectrogram moves along with the music perfectly in sync, right to the end. To make this look nicer, we'll add a color ramp between the texture and the extrusion, and change the interpolation to ease. This tones down the noise on the lower end a little bit. You can also play with the handles to alter the look of the spectrogram. I'm gonna clip the blacks just a tiny bit. We'll then increase the X divisions of the grid to 1500, but leave the Y at 300. 
This makes it look less like a grid and more like these slices of a spectrogram. This does expose the jagged edges of our limited resolution spectrogram, but we can just change the interpolation of the texture to cubic to make it smooth. This increased resolution makes the scene quite heavy and it can be difficult to see the animation, so we'll make another version of this grid here with a much lower resolution, just for previewing the animation. The next thing we want to do is to make the extrusion get smaller towards the edges, to highlight the present moment of the music. And that's pretty simple to do, we just add a multiply node here before the image gets fed into the offset scaling. We take the X position of the vertices, feed it into the multiplier, take the absolute of the position to get rid of negative values, flip the value upside down with map range, and then use a float curve to make it have this nice curved fall off. And now we have a nice and clear bump in the present moment. And to top it off, we'll make the bass thumping effect, which is quite simple to do. We just add an empty object here, go to frame 1, add a single keyframe to scale X, go to the animation workspace and change this to the graph editor, select the X channel and use Blender's bake sound to F curve feature. This will analyze our music file and make the X scale follow the amplitude of the sound. We want only the bass to affect our scale, so we'll decrease the max frequency to 100Hz. And we'll also set the release at 0.3 seconds to make the beat a bit longer. Then just hit bake and we have our curve. Now all we have to do is to go back to the geometry node, add another multiplier here, drag this empty here in the node tree, take the X scale and drag it to the second multiplier we just created, and add a map range node with which we can tweak the curve to our liking. I want to add 0.3 to the minimum output to not have the spectrogram completely disappear between the bass beats. So now that the animation part is done, we can make this a bit prettier. We'll switch to the high resolution grid. We'll have the camera look at the spectrogram from quite low like this. We'll increase the focal length a bit. Let's go to the rendered view and enable the depth of field to get that nice bokeh effect. We'll set the f-stop at 0.3, and then we can just slide the focus distance to get this nice effect where we only have a few spectrogram slices in focus and the rest gets this nice blur. Then we'll make the world black, delete this lamp, and create two material slots for the grid object. Let's call the materials top and side, and use the extrude node selections to set the materials accordingly. Let's go to the shading tab, make the top and side materials black, and have the top material have some emission. Now the tops of all these little grid cubes are white, but we want the brightness to be varied based on the height of the extrusion. So we'll go to a frame where the extrusion is really high, and we take the Z position of the geometry, Control shift click to see the values, and we map it so that it covers the entire height spectrum. We'll add a float curve to control the fall off, so we can fine tune the gradient to our liking. Then we just multiply it by 10 to up the brightness and have it control the emission strength. And we can now fit the Y position of the geometry into another color ramp, and we'll have to map the values from minus 2 to plus 2 to cover the entire grid. And we can make a nice color scheme here, and use that to control the color of the emission. A couple tweaks to the color ramp and the float curve, and we get this nice and colorful neon stripe look. The final touch is to enable Jitter Camera in the depth of field settings, increase the samples to 100 to get a nicer look in depth of field, and enable Bloom. And that's everything done! You can render out an image sequence for post-production, or you can render straight to a video file using the FFmpeg format. If you change the container format to MPEG4, you get an MP4 file that's usable straight away without any further processing. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and found it useful. And now for a moment of thought tinkering. Okay. Today we are going somewhere where there's copious amounts of reverb. Nostalgia. Mystical feels, historical impressions. What will we find? I don't know. Let's find out. It 
it's raining outside. I hear some birds singing. I wonder how they are feeling. Do they enjoy the rain? If you went inside of a consciousness of a small bird, I bet you'd be surprised at how powerful it would be. To experience a consciousness of a bird so simple so elegant connected to the immediate sensory environment almost hauntingly quiet but still so alert and quick of life is so much faster than ours. They spend it all immersed in the moment. forest. I long to be that present. But I can't do it. Yet. I hope I'll be able to someday. Sometimes you get those small glimmers of it. And you know it's there. humans are too complex to understand how simple it is. The mind gets in the way. I'll end with a quote, the origin of which I'm not sure about. struck a chord with me and many others. You can't become happy. You can only be happy. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. I'll see you later.